Uh, Chase, all markets enter the new week with risk on firmly the narrative. All three major US indexes hitting all-time highs last week. And FX markets, uh, that positive risk sentiment is also seen that rally in the US dollar fizzle somewhat and some of the cyclical currencies bounce back pretty well, namely the, the Aussie, the Kiwi and the, and the British pound. So ahead this week, we've got a slew of uh, tier one economic releases, uh, central bank meetings out of Canada, uh, the Europe and also Japan. Uh, so also some big US data there, the GDP and uh, the PCE inflation reading. So I think charts to watch this week, uh, US dollar CAD, um, hotter than expected December inflation reading out of Canada, uh, presumably uh, will make any meaningful dovish shift from the BOC, very unlikely, I would think, uh, in this week's policy meeting. Uh, markets are fully pricing in a hold from the central bank. That 2024 rally in dollar CAD hit resistance at that 50% FIB level last week, pulled back sharply to test a lower trend line support late in the week. So key levels to watch will be that 50% FIB level to the upsides around 135.41. Uh, if the bank does uh, confound analysts and take a dovish turn. If the bank strikes a hawkish tone, then the uh, trend line support followed by that big figure at 134 will be the, the level to watch to the downside. Uh, Euro US, um, the December's policy meeting, the ECB basically announced the end of the current rate hiking cycle. So since then, markets have really been pricing in pretty aggressive trajectory um, of ECB rate cuts this year against uh, also that backdrop of a slowing Eurozone economy. So the market's being too dovish in their predictions. Well, this week's ECB meeting may settle that uh, if we see a hawkish pushback or no pushback at all. So Euro US set new 2024 lows last week, breaking that key 109 support level. Uh, that's now turned into resistance. It'll be the key level to watch this week to see if it can re-establish itself as support or continue as resistance and a cap to the upside. Uh, dollar yen, another interesting one to watch. Uh, no surprises are expected from the Bank of Japan on Thursday. Um, looks set to really maintain that uh, yield curve control policy in the negative short term policy rate. Uh, so it's more likely that any policy shift will come after that March annual wage negotiations. Uh, though the BOG have been known to surprise before, so don't take anything for granted. Uh, so dollar yen's risen sharply in 2024. These levels, it doesn't look a little bit overbought as it is um, really streaked ahead of that yield differential between the US 10 and Japanese 10 years, which has been really the main driver of this pair in the recent past. Also approaching that 150 level where you know there will be more than likely some chatter about intervention if we do get there.